And good morning, good afternoon, good evening, ladies and gentlemen. This is a podcast and we're from Orlando, Florida, on this awesome and international podcast, Good Wine and Great Life, Season 7, Episode 13. And today is another summary of today's episode. But before I jump right on today's episode, as well as during the day, please do not forget to click on the like button as well. Click on the subscribe button to help this podcast YouTube channel to grow soon, faster, and fast as soon as faster and soon as possible ladies i appreciate your support on click on the like and as well on the sub subscription button and before i talk about anything else i have to bring to light now behold the green and gold is the homecoming in norfolk state university in norfolk virginia unfortunately i'm not there because i'm here you now to work on this podcast right now but as alumni for my great alma mater i have to put on the spotlight and i wish all my brothers and my brothers and sisters my spartans brothers and sisters that are now come all over the country and in the world now in norfolk virginia area Please be safe, have fun, enjoy your time with your friends, the people that went to school with, and have a great time, watch the games, participate in all events they did there. So once again, celebrate the homecoming in Norfolk State University. All right, ladies and gents, but before, like you always know, before I jump right on the topic of the day, I have to talk about the wine. I gotta give thanks for my friend Tanya that gave me this wine right here. She sent me this, so she gave me this wine, saying that she was in the store and found this wine. I never heard of it, so I said, hey, I never heard of it. So she said, okay, i get one for you. So this wine is called Infamous Gold. It's a Carbonate Blanc. And it's a vintage of 2020, according to the label right here in the back. It said that since 1890, the Pujibet family has been producing award-winning wines with the sub Fair for the four, gen for four generations. Located in the south of France and on the Mediterranean Sea, the La Combonet State paired genius with innovation in its equi exquisite Carbonet Blanc, derived from a new grape varietal, golden in color, with exotic fruit on the nose, a lovely freshness on the palate with a subtle balance between acidity and fruit. Alcohol percent of this wine is 11.5. Once again, it's a vintage of 2022. Wine from France in that they don't have a cork. It's a nice piece of plastic and glass right here on top. Interesting, interesting. So, let's go to France to see what this French wine is all about. Mm -mm -mm -mm. And once again, ladies and gents, like I always do, you go to, you know, white label. I already discussed that, but if you're new to my channel, unfortunately, because the light of there, always that I have a light, a white label, you can see clearly, but if you go to my social media, you can see right there, you're going to see a beautiful, clear picture of the wine bottle. So if you like my review and would like to try on your own, that's a reference right there. As always, I put the, 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 the season and the episode. So for this wine here, you're going to see all my social media is going to be under the season seven, episode 13. Ladies and gentlemen, for me, this wine is a combination of, it's between, for me, it's between a Pinot Grigio and a Sauvignon Blanc. 
but it's a very very good wine ladies and gents it's a very 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 it has a very distinct flavor it's not bad at all it's not sweet and it's not you no know, full body that, oh my god is this this is a very pleasant wine i'll definitely give a nine for this wine right here listen it's definitely definitely this wine made a spot on my wine collection and i definitely <laughs> have to ask for my friend to <laughs> send please uh, excuse me <clears throat> ah, please send me another bottle so i can put this bottle in my collection it's very very good wine so okay let's today saturday october 28th 2023 and the weather here in Orlandito is going to be uh, with the sunshine along the day with some cloud cloudy intervals during the day highs of 86 and lows of 68 later to be honest with you I'm already waiting for the weather here in Orlando to start dropping 50 and below I do love this type of weather here in Florida because it's not gonna be no snow on the ground it's gonna be nice and chill I'll be able to light up my fireplace <laughs> and keep it here drink some wine and eat some good food and watch some great movies another sip of the wine before I jump on today's topic all right ladies and today's topic of the day and once again my YouTube channel is just the summary what the topic is all about if you want to listen to the whole entire podcast episode for free all you need to do is click on the like not on the link not like what the link but under the subscription on the description sorry under the description you're going to see a, a link button that you can click up there and listen to ladies and gents so the topic of the day is a fiery debate on the U.S. Senate floor about providing school meals to LGBTQ plus students, ladies and gentlemen. So you're going to hear this. It's about 30 minutes back and forth discussion, and you're going to hear about five senators on the floor debating the situation. And now we're going to listen to Senator Debbie. I think her last name is pronounced State Stabe now or Stabe No. She's a Democrat from Michigan. Another senator from Tammy Baldwin, a Democrat from Wisconsin. Have a senator Brian Schultz from Democrat from Hawaii, and you have a senator Roger Marshall, Republican from Kansas. And the cloud of Texas, the 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 the, the idiot of the represent Texas, Teddy Cruz, the man with no balls. I say what I say, Ted Cruz, discussing the situation. You're going to see some back and forth that now some some senators break down what this law is all about related to the Department of Agriculture and everything that's been provided for providing the meals for all students, regardless of your your gender, identity, regardless of your religion, your race, all students should have a, a meal provided by school for free what's wrong with that you know and one thing that always pisses me off there's always come these white evangelicals they're against the L lgbtq plus community you know to say oh no you to, to try to get in the in the bathroom and and you're going to hear the senator that the stable now stable no discuss about what the judge say about when every time the, the Republicans try to approach the situation and talk about females, gender, this is not what the law is all about. The, this law is, this case is all about feed the children. Regardless, that's it. End the conversation, feed the children. So what's your problem that you're so afraid of the LGBT community that you, you call yourself, that's the thing that pisses me off all the time, man. They call yourself a Christian. So what's the right thing to do as a Christian is feed the people, period. Regardless, no no question about it. No uh, put labels on anybody. You know, the right thing to do, you as a senator, is provide the law that all students should have a free meal good nutritious meal during the school hours 
period. There's no discussion about that. You know, but you're going to see, you're going to listen to, please, 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 ladies and gentlemen, click on list, listen to the entire podcast and go and see the back forth and the stupidity, especially the, the sound of no balls that Cruz talk about something that has no sense. Then he going to, oh, is he like, he like to, <laughs> uh, you have a saying in Portuguese, I cannot, doesn't make any sense when it translate in English. You know, but it's like, you try to put a makeup on something just to make it graded, but everything you try to do doesn't make any sense. You know, so the excuse and the walk, go around the roses to make a point, but your point is completely invalid because there's no substance on your argument. That's Teddy Cruz for you. And I don't understand why people in Texas still have this idiot represent their state. Doesn't make any sense at all. So, anywho, ladies and gents, so that's what this podcast is all about. So, please do not forget to click and listen to it. And then you're going to see what's going on because a lot of people do not pay attention what's going on on the debates on the floor. And then later on, they complain about why was that happening? Why is this? Why is that? Because the debate has been provided on the floor. And you are the one that said vote for whoever is representing you. You may not uh, agree with your senator or your state uh, house of representative, you need to contact them and let them know that the shenanigans they are come with doesn't make any sense. Continue doing like that, you're not gonna get your vote. You're not gonna get my vote if I was in that situation right here. Just that's some local elections going on right now. This weekend I'm gonna do my search because early voting starts in I believe next week. So I always do my research, do my homework, to see the candidates and, and what they have done, what's their agenda for the past three, four years that's gonna help myself, my priorities, and also my community, and also not some of my priorities, but what's benefited the, 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 the population in general. So that's what I always do when the elections start coming. You know, the state, the local, state, and federal, ladies and gentlemen. So, once again, ladies and gentlemen, this is a boy, Casano. Please do not forget to click on the like button, click on the subscribe button, and be safe, be kind, and be blessed. And do what you can do. Do the best what you can do with what you got. Salute. Show all my Spartan brothers and sisters once again. Have a fun and be safe out there. After our celebration, also be safe on your way home. And I'll see you next time. Saturday. Holla! <laughs>